Hello everyone, my name is Yatin Gupta and I welcome you all to my channel Double E Concepts. So from this particular video, I am starting a new subject for you which is Network Theory. And in this lecture, I will talk about the syllabus that I am going to cover and uh, we will start with the basic circuit elements and some definitions in which I will talk about charge, voltage and current. So if you do not want to go into the syllabus part, you can directly jump to the part where I have started explaining this charge here. Okay. So let me come to the syllabus first. So in the first section, I will discuss about the basic circuit elements and I will uh, give you some definitions about uh, very basic things like charge, voltage, current, power, energy. What are the circuit elements uh, there in any circuit? which is resistor, inductor and capacitor. What kind of uh, sources we use in a circuit like independent and dependent voltage sources. So that all these things I will cover in the first section for you. And in the second section, I will talk about what is KVL, what is KCL, how to apply this mesh and nodal uh, analysis in any circuit and how to do the voltage and current division in any circuit that we will cover in this second section. After that, I will come to the star to delta or delta to star transformation in which I will tell you a cer certain tricks to remember the formulas of conversion from uh, either star to delta or delta to star. After that, I will teach you uh, about the two port networks in which we will cover various parameters like Z parameter Y, H, G and T. And then we'll come to the uh, condition of uh, reciprocity and symmetricity in all these parameters. And then we will cover two topics which is interconversion of two port parameters and interconnection between two port networks. In the fifth section, I will talk about the sinusoidal steady state analysis in which I will talk about phasors, how to draw them and how a series connection of RLC circuit uh, works. And uh, I will also talk about RL circuits, RC circuits and RLC circuits, all these combinations. So series and parallel combination of all these circuits I will explain and then I'll come to the complex power and how to do the RMS and average value calculations for various parameters. Then I will come to the next section which is network theorems, a very important one. So in this I will explain various theorems for you like superposition, Thevenin's theorem, Norton, reciprocity, Millman's theorem, substitution theorem and maximum power transfer theorem. So the next section will be about the transient in which we will study about uh, the source free transient circuits and uh, the circuits with source. And after that, I will come to resonance, series parallel, parallel resonance and quality factor tank circuits. These small, small topics I will cover for you. And then uh, these four topics are there, which is graph theory, magnetic circuits, locus diagrams and duality in electric circuits. So all these things I'm going to cover in this particular part. So guys, let's get started with the definition of network and circuit. Sometimes people get confused between uh, what is a network and what is a circuit. So network, uh, a network consists of active and passive elements like a resistor, inductor, capacitor, voltage source. All these things are connected with each other in a network. These elements are interconnected with each other to create a network and in electric network, any branch can either be closed or open circuited. This is the most important line that in network, you can find a branch that is open. Okay. But in circuit, what happens? All these same elements are connected together, but there should not be any branch that is open circuited. That means in a circuit, you will never see a branch which is open circuited. An example is shown just below this. This is the example for a network where these two points are uh, not connected to each other. So this one will be called a network. And here in this particular diagram, all the branches are connected to each other. It is forming a loop. Okay. So this is, this will be called a circuit. So from here, you can make a statement that uh, every circuit is a network, but not every network is a circuit. Okay. All right, so let me come to the next definition, which is charge. So there are 
two types of charges. The first one is the positive charge, which corresponds to the proton, and there is a negative charge, which corresponds to the electron. So, in the network theory, in the electric circuits, we are only concerned about what the negative charge, which which means the electron, and the unit of charge is coulomb. Now, you all know that the charge can neither be created and nor be destroyed. It can only be transformed from one part to other part of the circuit. All right. So let me show you a scenario in which uh, I have a wire like this. Consider this a wire and consider this part of this figure as the expanded view of the wire in which we can see some electrons here and the direction of movement of electrons are uh, is also shown here in the red color. Okay. So what is happening here? There is no potential applied across it. So what is happening? All these electrons are moving in random directions. Okay, there is no fixed directions uh, for uh, these electrons. So these are moving in random direction. That's why if I add the velocities of each of the electron like VE1, VE2, VE3 and so on, what will happen after adding all these velocities, the net velocity of electrons will come out as zero. That is why we can say there is no current flowing in this particular wire. Now, how to uh, make uh, a current flow in this particular wire? How, how do we do that? That is done by applying a voltage. So let me come to the next definition, which is voltage. Now to move the electron from one point to another in a particular direction, we need an external force. Okay. And in electric circuit, this external force is uh, known as electromotive force. Okay. Now, if I if I'm moving a DQ charge, if I'm moving a DQ charge, and I'm saying to do that, uh, the work done is DW, then in order to move a unit charge, the total work done will be DW by DQ. And this DW by DQ itself is called the voltage. Okay. So this is the formula for voltage V is equals to DW by DQ and uh, the unit will be Joule per Coulomb or we simply call it volts. So now in the same figure here, what I will do, I will apply a voltage across this wire and then we'll see how things happen. Okay. So as you can see, I have applied a voltage source i have connected a voltage source across this wire here so what i can see here the electrons that were moving in random directions now have a fixed direct fixed directions okay all the electrons you can see are moving in the left direction why because the positive terminal of the battery here is going to attract these negatively charged electrons so it will attract them in this direction and now as there is a net velocity of electrons here, because if you now add up all these velocities, it will not come out as zero. It will be a non-zero value. And that is why a net current will start flowing in this circuit. And we say that the direction of current is taken opposite to the direction of electron flow. As you can see, the electrons are flowing in this direction to the left. You can see the current here is flowing in the opposite direction. So this is how we take the conventions for the current flow. It is always opposite to the flow of electrons. All right. Now we know what is voltage. Now how to find the potential difference? How to find uh, uh, that? What is the potential difference between two nodes in any circuit? So for that, I have taken this example here. I have this voltage source here. Okay. These are the polarities plus and minus and the plus is connected to V1. The minus is connected to V2 and I have shown a value here, which is minus two volts. Okay. So the basic formula for potential difference to calculate the potential difference is higher potential minus lower potential. Higher potential means the point which is connected to the a positive terminal of the battery or the source and lower potential is which is connected to the negative uh, terminal of the battery. So here the potential difference will be what V1 minus V2 
and that v1 minus v2 here given as minus 2 volts so what i will do v1 minus v2 i will put it uh, equal to minus 2 volts so we can conclude following observations from here that is v1 greater than v2 is v1 less than v2 or is v1 equal to v2 so we can clearly see that subtracting v2 from v1 i am getting a negative value what is the meaning of that it is coming out as negative and this can only happen when the value of v2 is more than v1 okay so which one is correct um, among these three which one is correct that v2 will be greater than v1 so you can also tell whatever be the value here you can always tell that which point is at the higher potential all right so the last thing that i'm going to explain to you in this lecture is uh, what is current so we know that we apply a potential in uh, across a circuit like this a current starts flowing okay if the uh, loop is closed so how to uh, calculate this current the flow of electrons or we can say that the rate of change of charge with respect to time is called the current okay so consider this figure here this is a part of a wire you can assume and i have also drawn a cross sectional area of this wire okay so this is the cross section here and i am saying that in dt time uh, in a dt time a dq charge is passing through this cross sectional area after applying some potential okay so uh, in dt time how much charge has passed dq okay so in unit time how much charge will be passed that will be dq by dt and that itself is called the current so i is equal to dq by dt the unit here is coulomb per second or we simply take the unit as amperes okay and this thing i have already told you that the flow of current will be opposite to the direction of flow of electrons or it will be in the direction of positive charge okay so guys that's all for this lecture uh, in the next lecture i will cover some more definitions for you in the basics of uh, this particular subject so thank you very much. I will see you in the next one.